Alright, let's look around. New section of the market. Oh man, this is a shady area. This is a very shady part of town. Ooh, I don't know what's gonna be here. See anything you like? <laughs> Why this voice? Well, too bad I wouldn't really come to this new old gold mine. A gold mine? It's just a pile of junk. Junk, huh? Hey, aren't you the mouse brat? I've been a rich kid like you, because everything brand new, yeah? Toys, clothes, fancy gadgets. You try living like normal folk. We are make do with what we can find. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. What you see as a mountain of junk is how we make a living. I, I'm sorry I said that. I, I just didn't think. Eh, don't worry about it. Sorry if I was too hard on you. So what are you doing around here, rich boy? Actually, we were looking for the black market. Do you know where that might be? The black market? Does that place even exist? Oh yeah, where works well to turn up there. But I just collect junk, so I wouldn't know much about it. Thanks for the help, I appreciate it. Excuse me, excuse me, young man. I, uh, I don't know nothing. You better ask the old lady with the sweets. She knows loads about everything. Everything. Oh, well, uh, thank you. I shall go and talk to her then. Oh ho! I I did think that. I was just like, she's annoying. <laughs> she's probably knows something. Rat, rat, gotcha. Got the mouse. Meow. I may as well do one of them. Let's see what we got. We got curtain call. Cool. Let's do curtain call, why not? Let's do an extra one, but I missed. 20 pig rats, why not? The butler left a note of instructions, but he scribbled it out in a hurry, making it a little hard to understand. Don't forget curtain 13. Oh my lord, what? <laughs> How could you possibly know which one's 13 from that? Don't forget curtain 13. Okay. No reason whatsoever. Well, I have a reason. I'm saying C. A challenging puzzle, to be sure. It's wrong. My reasoning was... A little more thought is in order. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, my reasoning was the curtain just wasn't a curtain. Like, it's like it covers a fifth of the frickin' window. So I was thinking maybe it was one that needed to re be replaced. <laughs> oh, oh, it's B. Is it B? Is it B? Is it literal? 13. It looks like a B. Some puzzles must be met directly. A gentleman leaves no puzzle undone. You... Dick. <laughs> Fair play. Fair play. I'll come back to these later. Um, I can't fault the game for that because that was brilliant. I was thinking like, oh, you know, it looks like truly horrible as a curtain. Hmm, there seems to be a hidden puzzle here. <laughs> what? There seems to be a hidden puzzle in 449? <laughs> I've skipped the end of the game. Oh, what is this? The diameter of a circle is divided into three equal lengths, and those lengths are used to make the marble-like design shown in the diagram. The areas of section 1 and 3 are equal, but what about the area of section 2? Is it less than, greater than, or equal than... equal to area 1? Wait... Three equal lengths, this does. It's equal. It's equal. It, the diameter of the circle is divided into three equal lengths. 
It's equal. <laughs> Time to apply some creative thinking. No puzzle is without an answer. <laughs> Marvelous. Uh, the areas of one and two are the same. Uh, the best way to figure out is to use the free size of semicircles as shown above. Um, well, I didn't do that because it told me in the first line that all three were equal. So <laughs> it's equal. Like, duh. Hello. Suck it. You're eating up all the sweets at once. Oh, Mum say. I only took a tiny bite. Well, a few tiny bites. Hey, look, I'll give you a share of a lemon if you promise not to tell Mum. You can't bite my silence through me, Mrs. Shabbat. Lemon, though, that's only good, though. Excuse me. Suck it, made me eat it. Oh, wait. I thought you were my mum. Don't scare me like that. Please don't tell anyone we were eating sweets, will you? Yeah, our mum can be pretty scary when she's cross. She doesn't like us eating sweets between meals. Okay, they know nothing. They know nothing. So what's down? Oh wait, there was no down. No down. Okay. Uh, we're going back to the, the crazy toffee lady. Oh my god, crazy toffee lady! Still loitering around my stool? Well, you can't have any sweeties, I'm not budging! Actually, we have a question. Do you know the location of the black market? Mm hmm Well, the usual sightseeing spot's not good enough for you. You're a strange lot. But to each his own, I say. Anyway, I'll tell you what I know, if you can solve my puzzle. I'm gonna regret the fact that Andrew's gone on, so I... <laughs> You ordered sweets shaped like hearts, clubs, diamonds, and spades. When the sweets arrived, you noticed that the quantities were incorrect. The seller claimed she sent you the correct amount of each type. After checking, you realized she was actually right. How many of each sweet did sweet each sweet did you originally order? <laughs> oh, very good. Very, very good. It's free. I, I knew it. I knew it. You may see that there are four of the, um, uh, spades. There aren't. It's wrong. There are, the, uh, one of the spades is, uh, um, like a half, uh, it's a half, like it, yeah, it's three of each, one of them's a heart. Oh, wait, what? Okay. I want to say three of each. Am I right? A challenging puzzle, to be sure. No. Okay, I'm really confused. What no, could I'm, have gone I'm very wrong confused. Here? I can't put 3.5, because technically speaking, there's f one of the spades, like, okay, so, one, one, okay, so, two, 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 three, 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 
four, four, four. So there's three fours, four, four threes, three twos, and two ones. If you eliminate one of the uh, threes, make it a heart, make it a two, and sorry, a one. Um, so actually, we can just erase it. That's clever. Um, if we make it a one, and and at the same time a four, then that makes three point. I'm, I'm very confused. I don't understand exactly what it means now. No, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. You have to. Oh, okay. So erase all. Yes. So. One, two, three. Four. Then one, two, three. Then one, two, three, four. I'm right. That's got to be it. It's got to be 4342. I thought it meant that they're all the same. Time to apply some creative but thinking. No, I see. A I see. I had no the right idea. Undone. I just didn't see. I just didn't connect the dots. Cool. Yeah, one of the dancers is broken half and it stuck to the two hearts. Yeah, I thought so. There we go. Gotcha. Not bad, not bad. Now let's see. The black market, you say? I think I've had a few boys who came to buy my sweets talking about it. Something black, anyway. Something black? Well, that's worth a shot. Are those boys regular patrons of your store? There's a stocky fellow named Gus. He wears a red shirt and I rarely ever see him leave the market. If there's something you want to know, he might be the one to ask. Thank you very much. We'll go and look for him. Oh, I, oh, Andrew's not here to voice Gus. That's disappointing. Um. <laughs> yes. Look out! <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Stop there! Oh, no, you don't! Emmy, no! Luke, wait! <laughs> <laughs> there, that way. What is this madness? <sighs> this is ridiculous. Wait, over there! No, there! What's going on? I am the Black Raven. Welcome to my market. You come here asking all sorts of questions. Now why is that? We are interested in a particular item. Really? You? <laughs> yes, everyone is searching for something. Very well then. But first, you must prove that you have what it takes to barter. I'll give you one hint. You'll have to figure out the rest on your own. <laughs> love the theme, love the actor, love it all. So good. Who on earth was that? The Black Raven. I've heard that name. I think he's he head of the gang that runs the Black Market. Black Raven, Black Market. Uh, makes sense. So he's in charge? I think so. Hmm. There's something written on this piece of paper you dropped. Put my body in order. Uh, 
What does that mean, Mr. Layton? He did look quite scrappy. Maybe he wants a new outfit. Doubtful. I do believe this is a cryptic clue he's given us. But what could it possibly mean? That is what we need to find out. Let's continue investigating. Emmy was awesome. Like, super, super awesome in that. I don't think there's just one of them. I think there's more than one of the Black Raven. He's not that fast. You are Gus, is that right? Hmm. Huh? No, but if you leave a message for Gus, I can give it to me. To him, I mean. It's alright, Gus. Aunt Taffy told us about you. Do you mind if we talk for a bit? Go ahead. Just don't try to trick me. I've been tricked too many times. Oh, but I can't help you and to you for what? Well then, I suppose we'd better go and solve more puzzles and return later. What? What? But there's only. But I'm. How am I? Mi I'm missing two more after this. What? I was not expecting this. Two luxury cruise ships pass each other in the middle of a very calm sea. The two ships are completely identical, and the two ships' captain happen to be good friends. Ahoy there, Captain Brown! I didn't think I'd see you here. I didn't expect to see you either. Well, unlike myself, it looks like you've been streaming uh, around about a long fair way or not, Captain White. Which ship is... Ooh, okay, so... Which is moving faster? That's basically the question we've got here. Well, in fairness, I can only get this wrong once. I'm not seeing... the clue. The ripples in the waves in the back and the front are the same. The fog is the same... Captain Brown is a... A challenging puzzle, to be sure. I love the thrill of a good solution. Correct. Captain Brown's ship is A. You can tell this at a glance just by looking at the washer waves around the front of the ship. They looked very similar to me, but yeah.